How do you add a custom menu to your website here on Wix? This menu that I'm talking about is not going to be the navigation menu. This menu is going to be your own custom advanced menu that you can control all of the elements on. So first thing I'm going to do is just add a simple section. Uh, so we have a place for this menu on this site. So we're going to add a section here. I'm personally just going to do not a welcome section. I'm going to do some kind of basic blank section. So we've got some blank space here to work with. And I've got a couple guides here I'm going to drag away so that we don't have anything interrupting this section. To, to start here, we need to add a menu. So we're going to go up to Elements. We're going to find Menu and Anchor. And then let's add a, I'm going to add a horizontal menu and just click and drag to drag and drop this menu out here. Now, I'm not going to show you exactly where to place this menu. Maybe it's something like that you run along the edge here and then you uh, move all this back up. I'm just going to talk about this menu in this space out here. We're going to look at what we can do with it. Right now, any menu I pull out is going to just have all of the pages that I include in the menu. So when I come over here to Pages and Menu, anything included over here in the main menu is going to be included in this menu. But you have total control over that. If you click this gear icon, there's a little thing that says, do you want to set this as an advanced menu? Advanced menus allow you to create custom menus, so like unique menus where you can reorganize items and create sub-menus and mega-menus, etc. So we're going to set this as advanced, and it's going to tell us that this will no longer go with our site pages. That's okay. This is not the main navigation. This is going to be a separate menu where we control all the items. So we click set as advanced, and now we can actually manage the menu items. So we can click and drag these around. I can drag home down to the bottom. Now you see home moves all the way over there. I can also just completely remove this to hide it from the menu. We don't need that in there. So I can also add menu items and I can add custom menu items. I can add items that are from site pages. So for instance, I could unselect all the pages and just add this ice cream blog post or I think it's a blog category or something. So I could apply that to the menu. And actually by unchecking all those, I got rid of all those menu items in one foul swoop. So you can do that as well. You don't have to just individually uncheck each one. But yeah, we can go in here and add any menu item we want. We could add a URL link to any web address. We can add a phone number, an email. You can really customize exactly what you want to be in this email, or I'm sorry, in this menu. So I could add, for instance, pixelandbracket.com. I could do that. I could add that as a... Uh, well, I could add or adjust the name of it. And actually, I'm going to go all caps with this to match the other piece. I could add another menu item link. And I could say, oh, well, what about the, the YouTube channel, right? YouTube.com slash pixel on bracket. I could have it open in a new window, hit done, and decide, okay, I want this one to be YouTube. So if I wanted to create my own links, I could do that too. So now I have this menu and I can adjust the layout. I have a menu, sub-menu, and mega-menu. These are separate things you have to create. They're worth entire separate tutorials. Um, the sub-menu is not. The sub-menu, if we go to manage the menu items, we can uh, manage what drops down underneath others. And we should be able to do that by, yeah, we can click on the three dots. And for instance, if I, I don't know, if, if ice cream is my main item and I want to move website and YouTube underneath those, I click the three dots and I can move it under ice cream. And same thing with YouTube, I could move it under ice cream if I wanted to. Now ice cream will be a drop down to show website and YouTube below it. I'm going to go ahead and move those out. That's how you can create a sub menu structure. The mega menu is one for a different tutorial. However, let's go back into, well, we're not going to go back into settings. That's how you can reset the menu. We're going to go to manage menu or Actually, let's just go to, to design. I think we've probably managed the menu enough. So all of these options uh, kind of adjust the links that are in it, allow you to make adjustments to that. But then in the layout, we can adjust the horizontal spacing, the vertical spacing between items, if that applies. We can also make the menu scroll. So if this was to close down a little bit and be smaller than the amount of menu items, it's scrollable. You can also wrap them so they can bump down as this scales in and out, the items will bump down, which means you could create a vertical menu just by scaling this in. 
Now we also have some other items here, like the items, oops, like this selection of the items filling the whole menu, or do they just align to the left and then go as far as they go with the actual spacing that you want? You can align them center or to the right or scale them across. You can make them go from left to right or right to left, and you can also do some padding adjustments to each individual menu item. So you have a lot of control over what happens with this menu, how it looks, how it's spaced out and everything. The actual design tab, so that's the layout. The design tab allows you to pick for some different themes here. So if you wanted to just grab something that's close to what you want as a starter, and then you can go in and customize the design. You can customize the menu container and you can customize the menu items. Each menu item has a regular state, which is just kind of like not the current page and not you hovering over it. What's the menu look like just in its regular state? You also have a hover state. In this case, the regular state is black. The hover state is a blue. I don't know if you can see as I go over the hover, it changes to blue. So that would be what happens to it when it when you hover over it, it'll change to blue. And you can, of course, adjust all of these options here. The background of that menu item, the text, the borders, corners, shadows, everything then the current page that you have selected. So for instance, up here, you can see in this menu area, we have home, which is the current page. And then the regular state is actually a, um, I guess a lighter color. So you don't actually, uh, well, so the home stands out, right? So you can tell which page you're currently on. That's what current page is there for. And in this case, this menu says, well, the current page will be like the hover state, which is the blue color. So it'll be indicated by the blue color uh, and then you have well you can apply the regular design so what I would do is I'd make an adjustment to the regular design so for instance if I wanted to take this font and completely change it well then I need to make sure that and th in this case it changed the font for each of them but some of these items might not change for each of these different states and so you might want to apply the regular design to reset like for instance the hover state if you get this way off and it's in some other some other land with shadows and, and different things, uh, then you might want to reset and apply the regular design to kind of reset yourself and start from that and then apply a hover design to it. So that's what this button right here, these three dots, will help you do when you are designing this menu out. And then, of course, you also have the menu container, which you have all the background fills and same type of uh, tweaks here from a design side. Now, there is, of course, always animation on elements on Wix sites if you want that, and you can also stretch it, and you can stretch it to the full width of your website if you'd like. I don't think with a menu you would do that, but maybe there's some design scheme that you're working on, and then you can adjust the margins of that as well. But that's probably not something you'll be doing. You'll probably be just adding little menu items in and around your website to different areas and then customizing the actual menu items there uh, so that you can play with and have different navigation on your site, specifically maybe even in the footer where you want some custom navigation that's different from your main navigation up here. And like I said, you can just scale this in and out to help maybe do like a vertical menu even though it says horizontal menu, or you could pull out a whole separate vertical menu and start from scratch with a vertical menu and make some adjustments with all your items. Let me know if you have any questions down below. That's how you can make a menu here on Wix.